Hello, best friend, and welcome, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fabulous day. If this is the first time you're watching my channel, my name is Sebastian, and I welcome you guys with open arms. I do pop culture videos every single day, so if you're looking for a new messy best friend, you have found me, grab a snack, grab a drink, bitch, hit that subscribe button. I would be very grateful. You guys, um, you can see we are not in uh, my bed. We are also not in the living room. I, you guys know my mom is visiting, so um, I have to get creative where I film um, because obviously, you know, I don't want to like disturb her and stuff, but we are in my closet and you know, this closet girl, I had to fight for it. I used to share it with my husband, but he lost the bet, so I won, bitch. So we are in my closet and I wanted to do these type of videos today here because a lot of you guys have asked me like, what do I do when I have anxiety? What do I do when I have like, you know, bad days? Honestly, you guys, sometimes I just come in here. I feel so grateful that like I can just like come in here and just I stay in here. I do some meditation. I pray. I just kind of like get away. And I've never had like this type of closet before. So it was it, it for me, it's like my little secret garden. And I feel so grateful to to be able to have it. So so yeah, th this is where I decided to film my videos today. I thought it was a, a kind of, you know, a little treat to show you guys a little more about me. And as you guys obviously know, you know, my family is going through a little bit of a hard time now. So I had a little bit anxiety today. So I was like, you know what, bitch? Let me just do it from my safe place. Um, but we gotta talk, you guys. So I hope you have your waters. I'm reminding you guys to drink some water, bitch. Uh, because I know a lot of you guys have not even had waters, okay? And Coke does not count, ho. Oh. Um, okay, so we gotta talk because things just came a lot worse for Lizzo, you guys. Honestly, I I I still cannot believe that this is happening, to be very honest with you. But six more former employees have come out with uh, sexual harassment uh, allegations uh, against Lizzo. Uh, so it says here, attorneys representing the lawsuit against Lizzo confirmed to page six on Wednesday that they, oh, sorry, that they have been reviewing and vetting new complaints from at least six people with similar stories uh, who worked with the twerking pop star. Um, lawyer Ron Zambrano shared that his firm has been examining dancers who worked with Lizzo on her Amazon Studios reality show, Lizzo's Watch Out for the Big Girls. Zambrano said in a statement that the original three accusers have bra bravely spoken out and shared their experiences, opening the door for others to feel empowered to do the same. The allegations are of a sexual charged. Uh, environment and failure to pay employees, Zambrano added. Uh, some of the claims that they are reviewing may be uh, actionable, but it's too soon to say, he said. Um, so just last week, three dancers came out, as you guys know, and they have been under fire themselves. So the reason for is that they are basically saying that Oh, actually, I think I have the video I can show you guys. Are these demands or suggestions made by Lizzo, as you say, um, were they direct where they said, "We, I really want you to do it? Or was it more, I'm afraid if I don't, I might get fired? Yeah, um, I think for uh, for both of us, there was like this always looming um, feeling of thinking that if you didn't do something or you didn't adhere to certain uh, suggestions or demands that your job could be in jeopardy. There is so many instances where um, dancers who did, you know, have fun with her and, you know, um, go along with like what she was doing and, you know, be down for anything that they were, they were favored, they were hired for more shows, they were invited on, you know, like private jets and, and to do cool things and, you know, could hang out with her and in, in like tropical settings like Hawaii and stuff like that. Uh, and so we had in our minds that if we weren't, you know, down for anything that we would then be ostracized later. Um, it was this unspoken thing in the camp. That, that video is getting a lot of attention, you guys, because basically it, a lot of people are now saying, well, wait, you're maybe just mad that Lizzo didn't pick you guys for certain jobs or for, you know, give you certain treatments, special treatments or travel or whatever. And that is the only reason why you're coming forward. So now they're being called names like leeches, like parasites, you know, all of these things. So it's definitely getting ugly from both sides. And the only thing I have to say is that, you know, we were not there, obviously, you know, like that's the thing I always say, you know, and in this situation, 
as much as I love Lizzo and as much as I love, you know, I love her message of, you know, self-empowerment and, and, you know, self-love and, and body positivity, I do think that, you know, there should definitely be an investigation. I, I, I for sure think that. I think that there has to be an investigation. I think that there has to be, um, you know, a, a thorough, whatever it's called, investigation. So, you know, the truth, you know, does come out because obviously some people believe Lizzo, some people believe the dancers, you know, some people don't believe anything. So it's sort of like, you know, what to do from here. But now that six other people are, are you know, coming forward, well, it's getting a little bit ugly. Uh, but, you know, it's, I'm seeing a kind of a turn in the audiences, like in the, in the public. I'm seeing when this first came out, everyone was like canceling Lizzo. And then when um, these type of interviews started coming out, people are really saying that these dancers really messed up with the interviews because they, they just sound like they're mad that they didn't get certain things like trips to Hawaii or, you know, going on the private jet or being favored by Lizzo, you know? So, because they're saying that it was kind of like implied without being implied. So, so it's very confusing. So that's why I say, you know what, there should be a definite, very, very strict investigation. And, and, you know, the truth will definitely come out. But I am seeing like in the comment sections that people are taking these interviews and saying like, we, you know, we're not believing these people anymore. Like, it just sounds like they're mad that, you know, maybe they didn't get certain things. But, you know, I, I say they're probably going to go to court. Lizzo got a huge lawyer and she denied everything. But now that more accusers are coming out, you definitely, it makes you wonder. And, you know, you're like, okay, girl, what really is going on behind the scenes at a Lizzo tour, at a Lizzo show, at a Lizzo, you know, whatever. So it's just so sad because like, oh, there's literally no one like that. You know, there's no one that represents, you know, people that, like I identify with, you know, people that we we don't look like your average Hollywood, you know, whatever. And we don't fit the, the Hollywood, you know, aesthetic of perfection, which is such bullshit because I believe that every single body type is beautiful. And I think everyone should be freaking celebrated the same. And Lizzo was the first one who really kind of brought up my sexy side and kind of like, you know, helped me, you know, show a little bit more. And you, you know what I mean? And, and, and it's just so sad. But at, at the same time, it's like if she's giving that much of a toxic work environment, then I, I think she should get definite help and she shouldn't be allowed to be anybody's boss if that's what she's doing, you know? So I'm definitely here for the truth. I'm definitely here for if there's justice to be served, then I hope that these dancers get it. And if Lizzo is 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 in her truth, then I hope that she, you know, wins, you know? So I don't know, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. I go like back and forth. I really do, I go back and forth with it. Um, but I don't know what to believe, you guys. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. I would love to hear from you guys. I'm so grateful and thankful. And you know, even if Lizzo gets canceled and doesn't return, I, I wanna tell you guys that, you know what? Life is way too short, you know, as somebody who still wears shirts to the ocean, to the pool, what I do is I go in with the, with the, you know, with my shirt on to the pool or the ocean, and then I take it off and then I put in my, you know, I wrap it around me or I put it in my, in my bathing suit. Um, I'm so tired of living like that, you guys. So we need to help one another and we need to, you know, support one another. Um, and any body type, if anybody is shaming you, whether you're too skinny or you're too fat or you're too this or you're too that. I want this channel to be a place where you can go and you know that you're accepted, that you're loved, and that, you know, we got to help motivate one another and live out our best life. So anyways, bitch, that's what I'm saying. I love you all so much. I'm so grateful and thankful for each and every one of you. I don't take you guys for granted at all. And I hope you enjoyed Tea From My Closet. It's, it's you know, it's, I, I can literally touch right here and, it, but it's just like this, it's just like, you know what I mean? It's. Uh, do you guys have a safe space in your in your house before this apartment my safe place and you're gonna laugh at me was the bathroom because uh, i didn't have you know like a closet closet so my safe place was the bathroom and i was like i'm gonna go shower and i would just literally like be in there and watch like tiktok videos and we only have one bathroom so my husband was oftentimes very mad at me but anyways i love you all so much i'm very grateful and i'll see you guys in the next video Mwah.